The UN has called out South Sudan for undermining aid responses since the famine declaration in the country. South Sudan's government, however, says it's putting in place measures to address the current lack of food in the country and that it already secured some cereal. What has been received and its loss is over 100,000 sacks. This is big sacks of 90 to 100 kilo. We are now, we will be planning on how to transport these foods to the rest of South Sudan, where there is a food shortage. Juba Father says it's reviewing the fees for the work permits and other fees levied on foreign workers in South Sudan. Earlier this month, the country raised the annual work permit fee for foreign professionals from 100 US dollars to 10,000. The term of reference that, uh, that were given to the technical committee to revise the act include that they must harmonize any rates that people see that are higher than what is being applied in the region. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says President Salva Kiir's leadership has failed to acknowledge the crisis in the war-torn nation and thus showed no willingness to bring it to an end. Salva Kiir's government says it's committed to implementing the peace agreement and ensuring peace returns to the country, but claims it has no revenue to fund the operations. Juba is calling on the international community to provide the necessary funds, but global partners say there is a major concern about the lack of transparency from the government on how revenues from South Sudan's oil industry are spent. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.